exciting news about the GTR. I'm, I'm really pumped about that car. You guys know I'm a huge GTR fan. I've had multiple GTRs personally before I, uh, I went into the Lambo game and then now the, uh, the hypercar era. I think we're building the world's fastest round car. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure the GTR, after we get on the dyno, is gonna make that 1,000 wheel, it's gonna be the world's fastest rental car for sure. So good looking cars, putting that motor in for me. And uh, man, my, my phone's always ringing. Just hold on one second. All right, bye. Awesome, so uh, we're trying to find some filters for a car. But uh, today I'm gonna extend the house shopping. That's gonna be the fourth house I've looked at. I am really pumped for this one. There's two things about this house right here, and Mario knows. Yeah. He knows that it's really scary to have neighbors, right? Because when you have neighbors, they get really mad at you, and the HOA goes crazy, and everybody throws a fit, and then you're stuck. This particular house doesn't have an HOA, but it's got some of the most powerful neighbors in the city. This is on Tamiyasu Lane. Now, Tamiyasu is uh, famous because Wayne Newton lives there. He's got like literally the biggest property I've ever seen. He's got a private jet hangar on his, in his backyard. Um, and uh, famously, Mike Tyson had two houses on Tamiyasu. So the, the house you guys actually see in the original hangover with Mike Tyson is legitimately the next door neighbor to the house we're about to go and look at. Um, now the house, you know, to the left and to the right, some super, super, super powerful people. So if we're gonna get into this space to have a royalty villas, one thing that makes me a little bit nervous is the fact that I don't want to spend $3 million on a house and then get kicked out or get in arguments or, you know, have to babysit me, buddy. So we're going to go and check. The tigers don't live there anymore. We're going to go check this house out and see if there's enough sound deadening trees and, you know, the property's big enough for people not to get upset about it. So that's the goal today. And uh, we're finishing up the morning rush. And as you can see, it's all empty in here. Empty everywhere. <laughs> Lane is obviously just a straight street, but if you could see how far this white wall goes, all right, I mean, like that's one of the gates. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I can't express to you how far it is. It's got to be at least three quarters of a mile. Yeah, I mean, we're still, still driving drive. by it. This is all of Wayne Newton's property. It is so big, it's got to be. If you guys look it up, just go to Tommy Hustle Lane, go on Google Maps, and just check it out. It's insane. And then we get to Mike Tyson's big house. This is the house that Mike Tyson had his cats live in, from what I was told, right here. Now the house you guys saw on the hangover is actually this house. Uh, let me see if I can get you a better shot of it. That's kind of like a little area in the middle. It's just one story house right here. This is the one that uh, all of the cars, or all of the, uh, the cats were in, and it has the glass in the middle. So this is that house here. Now this one was bought by, um, a, a British guy. I, I've been in this house since it was uh, just purchased, but it doesn't look like anybody's kind of living there now. It looks pretty gross and crappy and just kind of like abandoned. So who knows, you know, some of these cool nostalgic houses are super dope, but we're about to pull into the one that we're going to look at today and it is not in an abandoned condition whatsoever. <laughs> completely different than the one we looked at last week. This is beautiful, it's almost brand new. I mean, it's like gorgeous inside. I saw it last night, so I've been around and I kind of already toured it. So I'll just take you guys through it. You walk in, now I'm gonna go through what I like and what I don't like about the house. 
Now, when you walk into my house, you've got this grand, amazing door, and you walk into like a foyer. This one, you walk directly into the living room, which is not bad. You guys can see there's some very, very nice space here, and it's, it's, a, it's a very grand entrance as it is, but the goal is to go to the outside because this is an outside style house. This house is almost three acres, and uh, it was just remodeled. The flooring alone in the house, this is porcelain. It is so expensive. I have no idea what it costs, but I guarantee you, I got quoted for this for my house. It was almost $200,000 to put this amount of floor in a house this size. Now, it is astronomical prices when we talk about these things. The lights and all that kind of stuff, that's restoration hardware. You can see the AC vents over there. All these fixtures, all this stuff adds up to so much money. And you know, personally, when you renovate a house, you try not to spend crazy amount of money because sometimes you don't get it back. And I kind of feel like that's what's gonna happen here. You might not get all that money back, but this is still a great option for us for a royalty villa. So here's a master bedroom, pretty large. It's laid a little odd. I'm not sure about this whole thing. You have to put like a couch here around this, maybe a seating area. And then you got this wood right here with the steps. But uh, up there, huge vaulted ceiling. I mean, that's gotta be 25 feet high with a beautiful fixture. And you got those windows with that natural light. Natural light is the most important thing in a house like this because the rooms get so big, you wanna make sure you have the space, right? To, to have all the, the beautiful light that comes in because if you just have regular, you know, I guess fluorescent or LEDs, it can kind of feel claustrophobic. It kind of feel bad in here. You know, I mean, you can see this is a pretty nice space for a bed and then boom, you got the outdoors. So what I love about this is when you wake up in the morning, you're looking at such beautiful landscaping. You, you know, you, you just feel at peace with this, right? And it just, to me, indoor, outdoor space, especially in Las Vegas, because there's such amazing weather here, except like two and a half months out of the year, uh, <laughs> is so nice. It is, it's a, Las Vegas is a beautiful place. Better than your hometown of uh, oh, absolutely. Minnesota. Yeah, you get two and a half months of good weather. Good weather, you mean you get like that 81 degree day that one day a year? Yeah, and then it's really humid the rest of the time. Yeah. It's, it's the master bathroom because it's so cool with this shower. I mean, the shower literally, I mean, Tony, you have to get in the shower so that we can see how big the shower is in comparison. Um, but you could have at least, I don't know. At least a party in here. At least five people in there comfortably, absolutely. you know? Five. The other problem is, is you can only have about one and a half people in this bathtub. <laughs> but obviously beautiful as it is, yeah? You know the, you um, the shower when it's one way in, one, another way out. Yeah, yeah, if you got two doors to your shower, you have an entrance and an exit, you're doing okay. Um, this is a little small for the size of the bathroom here. You know, if, yeah, it is a little weird. Well, it's really far back. Yeah, you got a lot of smell room. That's just an empty closet. Oh. Like, it's nothing. Linen closet. Every single room in this house has its own door to the outside and you get this like little patio. Now actually let me touch on this real quick. You see the flooring? Dude that is epic. You can't, I'm hoping you guys can see the detail in this, but every single bathroom in this house is unique and then once you walk outside you have your own little kind of private patio, right? You got your own little like garden area here, then you got your gate, you do your own thing. So just say if you had a guest house, I mean, I'm not a guest house, but a, a group of five guys, yep. four guys, something like that, this would actually be very unique because everybody can have their own little space, yeah. right? So that's pretty cool. The only downside to the, the rooms is that they're all kind of together, right? They're all kind of over here and together. So and they um, have access to the outside. Each that's what we talked about, yeah. So let's go now to the outside. So the real winner of this property, and this is the, one of the main reasons why I'm looking at it is because the space you have out here has so much room for activities. I mean, just the area here, this courtyard with these beautiful big palm trees, they're so nice. Um, you know, you have grass everywhere. The smell of this place, you cannot understand. The smell is so nice. It smells so fresh, it smells so clean. The pool is gorgeous. I mean, with the waterfalls integrated, at nighttime, we saw this last night, has beautiful lights. You can change the colors of them. Red over there, blue up top and all that stuff. And then up here, let me show you this fire pit. You've got this uh, cool, now when, you're, when everything is up and running and at night, there's flames that spit up up here about this high. And you have all that just gorgeous view with the fire. It looks so nice. So this outdoor space here, 
in Las Vegas is so important to have because you know when you come to Vegas you want to be in the pool you know you want to be outside and you want to feel what Vegas is all about right and obviously you want to have a group of people so this is the master bedroom here so you saw that when we were out there you got the main areas of the house there and then all the guest rooms there's also this beautiful casita that was fully built out had some kitchen room and everything in it so you could technically live here like actually like have like a, a live-in person you know to manage the property to help us out with that also on the property you've got entrance back here you could kind of this really isn't used for parking obviously because there's a basketball court here but um but there's a side entrance so if you wanted to access the back now my thing is is that you have all this space back here right so if you want to throw like kind of corporate events or possibly even like maybe a wedding or something you could definitely do that right like let's just pretend you have the bride and groom on that elevated area there you could put tables out here and chairs and everybody can get married and have a good time and then they can go into the house with the tables and you know kind of like have like a reception so it'd be kind of a cool space you know like i think maybe like a quinceanera or you know something along those lines those are the kind of ideas that I have for this space. You know, I don't always just want to rent it to like bachelor party dudes and they come out here. I want to kind of have like the midday events, you know, something that's just easy, fun, doesn't piss off all the neighbors because listen, this guy's house right next door, holy crap. It's gotta be plus 30,000 square feet. It is so big. It looks like a hotel next door. The structures alone, I mean, he's got, I, I want to show you this. He has like legit solar panels like in the air. Okay, like they're floating solar panels. This property is so big back there. And uh, this house is pretty nice. It's got a pretty cool backyard here. Smaller house, but definitely nice. And then over there is a street. So you have access to park on the side. It's pretty epic. Um, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of space in between the house and this area over here. So it kind of feels like, my, my question was if people could actually hear these events. Now, let me tell you, this guy's got a big house. His walls are definitely thick and his house, his main house is actually kind of far away, but, uh, but you can see that he legitimately has floating solar panels back there. And you, I mean, look at the property. It's so big. It is so awesome. That place is so cool. Um, I wish that I could afford a house of that. That's probably like a $30 million house. That thing is epic. On the outside, we have a beautiful wrap around driveway with gates on each side and uh, a, an amazing area up front with a kind of a water feature that runs all the way through the house. You guys cannot see the beauty in this water feature here. It sounds so nice when you walk up to the house. You've got obviously an amazing amount of driveway space, three car garage. <coughs> and uh, you know, you could park as many cars as you want out here. You probably get about, I would say at least 20 cars out here, no problem. And then on the other side, I mean, if you really wanted to, you know, with supercars, they can definitely be parked on the grass because they look really nice. You've got the equal amount of space on that side right over here. And you could always just pave this if you wanted to add some more parking or anything along those lines. But you know, the, the driveway alone, you know, you could double them up on the sides. Just looking at the Koenigsegg, you know, the CCX sitting over here, it looks so good. And this uh, covered area right here, I mean, lights, all that stuff comes out. It looks super, super nice. It's a beautiful entrance to this house. And uh, I think we're gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna probably get out of here. And obviously we're instead we're gonna go to lunch. Just wanna kind of show you the driveway on the way out. But you know, I, I, I'm really torn. I'm very, very torn. It's, it's gonna be a tough decision for me to make. I think it's gonna come down to whichever one I can get for uh, cheaper because I think both properties have the benefits. This one needs zero dollars of renovations, but the other one is obviously double the size, right? The property is, the house is not, the property is double the size, the house is about the same. So we'll see what happens and uh, I'll update you as soon as I know. So please guys like these videos so that we can get them in front of some more people. And obviously YouTube give us some good recommendations. I also want you to see if you guys can subscribe because this content is really fun and I really enjoy it. So if you guys are subscribing because of these videos, it makes me kind of inspired to go out there and, and build new things and, and to make new businesses and to do all this new stuff. So, you know, I could appreciate some extra support on that end, but um, you know, if you wanna see some coding eggs and do some burnouts and kind of stuff like that, we're gonna have all that. We're gonna have all that all day long.